Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome to session four of Making Disciples 2. This week we are focusing on evangelism in your group and that of course means the goal of our group is to reach people that don't know God. To multiply our groups by finding people, helping our group members find people, and group multiplication. So that's going to be one of the main themes here. And I can't stress it enough. That really needs to be the goal of each of our groups is to multiply, to raise up leaders, and um, to go find other people that are far from God. Now, I know several of you have been in groups recently that have, you've shut them down or they've, you've decided you, with your leader to shut them down. Other groups uh, have recently multiplied in that they're now two groups when they were one big group. And I just want to confirm for each of you that that is an important thing about group life is that sometimes shutting down groups is exactly what is needed because it helps everybody reassess why are we here, what are we doing, and I know how frustrating it is as a group leader when you have a group that isn't growing. And I just wanted to say one of the things that helped me the most one time when I was having to shut a group down, RJ said to me, I think I've shut more groups down than I've started. And I was like, whoa, it just helped me feel a little more comfortable about the fact that shutting down groups is also an okay thing. So I want to talk a little bit about what we're about this uh, session this, this week's session, and about how you can help your group uh, to reach out and who are they supposed to be reaching out and praying to. And just recently, during the sermon, we wrote uh, the first thing we did in, in the beginning of, our, uh, of the se sermon was to write on a post-it note, family and friends, people that are far from God. And so I encourage you, you can do that in your group too and have them put it in their Bible or somewhere that they can pray. And the... the the steps are, you know, identify who they are, pray for them, and love on them, showing them the love of Jesus. Now, this is all part of the learning you're going to be doing this week. Another important thing is sharing your testimony in three minutes. Now, in a couple minutes, I'm going to share my testimony in three minutes. But all of you need to share your testimony with all of us. And so what I'd like for us to do is to get together at one of our houses and I'm thinking the last week of October. Uh, so I'm pretty flexible in my schedule. I can do evenings if you would rather do it on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday evening. That would work too. So uh, I'm going to send an email, look and see what's going to be the best. And then we'll all share a testimony. So it won't take all that long. There's five of you. And so say it takes, you know, three minutes. There's a minute in between. We're only talking 20 minutes or so. So we absolutely uh, could have a fun meeting. I'm, I'm thinking that we might, you know, put an hour out and, and it'd be an hour total. Um, so let's look at what that looks like. So now, without further ado, I would like to uh, share my testimony with you. Now, uh, I grew up in a house where I went to church when I was a little girl. My mom took us to church, and I gave my life to Jesus when I was about 11. However, uh, my parents got divorced when I was 14, and uh, that divorce, I came from a family of divorce. My mom's parents were divorced, and her grandparents were divorced, and so divorce has always been something very prevalent in, in my family lineage. And then my dad was an alcoholic. He drank a lot. Uh, when I'd say drank like a fifth of alcohol an evening. So I grew up in that. And by the time my parents got divorced, I ended up having to go live with my dad and my stepmom for a while. And I was uh, exposed to alcohol, drugs, and I was smoking cigarettes. By the time I was 16, I was smoking pot. I was drinking every day. And I was smoking cigarettes a lot. And so my life was really pretty tough. I kind of went far away from God when my parents got divorced. I was pretty mad at him. So um, I got married in college. I met my husband. We got married after college. We have two grown sons. And um, my husband, Vince, he's the love of my life. And that whole time, uh, we were far from God. We were not attending church. We were, you know, if you'd asked me who Jesus was, I would have said I knew who he was, but I wasn't following him at all. In 1998, we moved to Pittsburgh, and my son Davis, he had two friends, they were brothers, and their mom, Jane, started to invite us to church. And she invited, and she invited, and she invited. 
it took two years for me to finally say yes after some pretty lame excuses, I have to admit. And so I came to Crossroads that very first day. I heard the message of Jesus, and I remembered who Jesus was, and I gave my life back to Christ. And I have to tell you, it was a wonderful thing. Um, I bet I spent the next few weeks at Crossroads crying all the time because I was so happy. I was so sad that I had been away from Jesus for so long. It was so wonderful to be back with him. And I needed to know more about him. I joined a small group. I learned how to pray. I, I, I learned how to read my Bible again. And I, I learned how to spend time with God. And God was the Lord of my life. And I grew in my faith. And um, But there was just this one thing that I wasn't giving to God. And that was my weight. I weighed 274 pounds. I had replaced all that drugs and alcohol with food. And um, finally in 2006, I surrendered that to God. Um, I joined a First Place for Health. It's a Christian weight loss program at Crossroads. And in four years, I lost 116 pounds. And it's been over three years now since I've kept that weight off. I kept that weight off because Jesus is my Lord and Savior. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And he's in me. And I keep my health for the Lord. And I don't, I don't think I ever lost the weight for Helen. There was, that was never good enough. But when it's for Jesus, the victories that I've had over this, this thing that has just always plagued me has been wonderful. And now it's been three years. And I, I, God has just been with me. Our, my dad had passed away. And our kids have gone to college. They're now launched. It's just amazing what the Lord can do. And so I just want to share that Jesus is a joy. And I have experienced so much freedom. I've forgiven so many things in my life. And I am thankful to be a follower of Jesus. All right. I went a little over three minutes. Somehow I always do. It's hard to get under three minutes. But I did make it under four minutes. So anyway, uh, everybody, work on your testimony. Practice it. And we'll get together and share it. And uh, just, just, just think about what has the Lord done in your life. And share that. Because when it comes from your heart and you, you kind of know bullets on what to say, it's a lot easier to share it over and over again. So for all of you, blessings. Keep on keeping on.